Hi YouTube, Timothy Arkin here. In this video I'm going to show you how to install different fonts on the Linux portion of Chromebook in 2025. So first off let's uh, open up a terminal here. So this requires you to have Linux installed. I have a video on that. I'll leave that as a card above. And we're going to open up the terminal and one way you can install fonts is via the command line. So let's say I wanted to install uh, fear code so I can type sudo apt dash get install fonts fira uh, I think it's all one word fira code and there we go we've got fira code installed let's say I wanted to install JetBrains mono I could do sudo apt dash get install fonts uh, JetBrains dash mono and go there and now JetBrains Mono is installed. Okay, so that's one way to do that. And if you're wondering how I know that, let's open up a browser and we can search for Fonts Debian 12, which is the current version of um, uh, Debian on Chromebooks. So you see Software Packages in Bookworm, Subsection Fonts, you can click on there. And then you see the package names that you can install. So if I scroll on down here, you see fonts dash this, fonts dash that. Um, I keep going. There's one. There's another one, Mononoke, which is a good one. Um, I don't know. Let's let's just search for it, Mononoke. Okay, yeah. So fonts Mononoke. So I can install that one. Sudo app dash get fonts dash mana noki uh, and oh, mana noki you gotta make sure you use, spell it right mana noki um, let me make this a little bit larger so sudo app dash get install fonts dash mana noki okay so now we go ahead and we install that so if I want to open up VS Code here, and you know now I've got Hermit font, which I installed via the command line. Um, if I want to change that to say Mononoke, and go here, and now that I've reopened VS Code, I can just type Mononoke, and it's going to change here to the Mononoke font. You notice it's slightly different. Uh, another way we can install fonts is we could go to say let's say Google fonts So I'm just going to search for that go here Let's say I wanted to get uh, so I have you know a couple Google fonts here. Let's just get rid of Anton here uh, Let's go back here and let's search for source code pro Another font I tend to like so I can go here I can click on get font and download Click show in folder and I want to extract all. Okay, then I might want to go to the static to get the whole bunch of variants here. Copy all of this. I'll go into my Linux files and I'll show my hidden files here. And if I go to dot local share and I create a folder called fonts in there. So inside dot local share, create a folder called fonts and paste all of that in now what I can do is I can open up say an app that I'm using let's say VS Code so we open up VS Code here and if we go to my settings uh, now I can use source code pro so let's do source code pro and let's do the medium size because I uh, paste it in all those static fonts I can use that and there we go we've got source code pro so you notice the font changed a bit there that's all there is to it to installing fonts on a Chromebook hopefully you found this video helpful if you did please give it a like and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching